hi guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel in case you are new here my name is docas thank you for tuning in if you are a new subscriber thank you so much and if you are a returning subscriber you are most definitely welcome back and if you are not yet subscribed kindly smash the subscribe button so that you can be subscribed to my channel it's on the bell notification so that you can always be notified every time i drop a new video and don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up like share comment and let me know your thoughts down below so guys as i've said i'll be giving a shout out to people and if you want to get a shout out from me you have to be the first to leave a comment on my video so today's shout out will be going to modesta lifestyle and just just flicks gallo so these people also they are youtubers and they have a youtube channel so i'm going to leave the link to their youtube channel in the description box so that you guys can check out their channel and subscribe if you like it to so the main discussion of today i'll be talking about insecurity about why nigeria is not safe it really infuriates me when i hear people saying that oh nigeria is safe nigeria is this or nigeria is that or when i see foreigners who are living in nigeria say that nigeria is safe just because they want to get they want to be on the good side of nigerians and guys before i proceed please always make sure to watch the ads on my video and always make sure to thumbs up my video because when you do you are not only helping me you are also helping others to be able to discover this video so as i was saying it infuriates me when i see people when i see self-acclaimed patriotic nigerians and even foreigners who are living in nigeria say that nigeria is safe just because they want to be on the good side of nigerians nigeria is not safe stop saying that nigeria is safe nigeria is, sa is not safe when you keep saying that nigeria is safe when it is not you are part of the problems we have in nigeria because i feel like when everybody fully comes to the understanding and to the agreement that yes this country is not safe we will be able to find solution to our problem here i am i am able to do this video in my room without the fear of being kidnapped or anything let's say it were to be in nigeria and i'm doing this kind of video i might be arrested or kidnapped in the middle of the night just because of this criticism nigeria is not safe guys some of you have been seeing me go on go road trips right here in the philippines if you haven't watched any of my road trip video i'm going to link the playlist up here so that you can go and watch them guys whenever i'm traveling i always sleep in the bus i sleep in fact i don't care about where i'm going to i just tell oh kuya can you please tell me my destination even if i don't know the location of where i am going to i still take my back and go because i am not scared of being kidnapped in nigeria hell no you dare not guys in nigeria you can't be going on a road trip and close your eyes and sleep in the bus you can't because you don't know if you're going to be kidnapped you don't know if something bad is going to happen to you but here i am in the philippines i can travel wherever i want to travel without being scared even as a foreigner even being a foreigner in the nigeria that is more reason why you should be scared because when they kidnap you they will ask for higher ransom because they believe that you have money they can't they can even kill you if you don't provide the money they want you guys should stop saying that nigeria is safe let us all come together and call a spade a spade let us all come together let us all unite and say that yes we do have a problem in nigeria and we need a solution so now before i proceed you know i said in my last video i made the title is dear nigerian students in the diaspora do not go back to nigeria if you haven't watched that video i'm going to link that video up here for you to watch i said in that video that i'm going to give you video proofs of why i said nigeria is not safe so right now we are going to watch this video together of a nigerian senator talking about the insecurity in nigeria run away from the fact that more than ever before in this of our nation this is the worst instability we are facing in fact this is worse than the civil war Mr. President, the solution is very simple. 
Today, there are a lot of misgiving, a lot of misinterpretations of what is happening. Some people believe some people in government that are supporting this move. Some people believe some people sponsor those who are destabilizing our nation within the country. Guys, after watching that video, what do you think? Now, if you watch that video, you will notice that there is a woman seated right beside that man. The camera is showing a woman close to that man who was speaking. If you watch that video, you can go back, skip back to go and watch that video again. He told that man that, are you PDP? Guys, when I heard that, I was like, what? Oh my God. What did he just say? This woman is a woman who is intending to be the wife of the next president. No, not intending. I mean, she's the wife of one of the Nigerian politicians. But her husband is intending to be the next nigerian president and simultaneously she's going to be the the next first lady of nigeria she's planning god will not allow it to work telling someone that are you a pdp in case you don't understand what that means in nigeria we have two main political party in nigeria we have the apc and we have the pdp the apc are the one governing ruling nigeria now our current president is in APC. Then we have the PDP, which is the opposing political party, or should I say, they see this party as a threat, as an opposition, you know, as their opposition. So what that woman is saying now is that for you to talk about the insecurity in Nigeria, that means that you are not one of us. Because if you are one of us, that is what she's saying. That means that if you are one of us, if you are APC, you won't be tackling the president. You won't be talking to the president that there is insecurity in Nigeria. That is what she means. Then I was struck that this is what we get when we elect a dictator as a president. I did not, I did not join you to elect the current president. Neither have I ever voted in Nigeria because apparently I left Nigeria early. So I did not, I have never voted. I don't have any voters card i don't i didn't do any of such and i'm glad that i never did because that would have made me more sad that i'm part of the people who voted a dictator into power so i'm always mad and i hate it when i hear that oh nigeria is safe nigeria is safe as if as if the safety you enjoy here in the philippines you can enjoy it in nigeria nobody can tell me that the safety they enjoy here in the philippines they can enjoy it in nigeria hopefully in nine years time I hope to be in a position that can effect change in Nigeria. I hope to see myself, I don't know, but I'm hoping if I can go into politics in nine years time, I just want to be in a position that can bring about change. I want to be in a position whereby when I talk, people are going to reason with what I'm saying and they are going to see me as important in Nigeria. Because I know that now I'm still young. That is why I am building myself up now. Then I saw another video of Nigeria being discussed by Ghanaians. And I'm like, even other countries know the problem that we are having. And you, who is a citizen of Nigeria, you come and be running your mouth that eh, Nigeria is safe. Eh, it's not all part of Nigeria. They are gradually infiltrating the whole of Nigeria. It is a gradual process. Because they are not yet in your community, doesn't mean that they will not get to your community. Do you know the number of you that have lost their lives in this past week from kidnapping? And I have a solution for this. I have a solution for Nigeria. Very soon, I'm going to make a video on why Nigeria needs to divide. You heard me right. Nigeria really needs to divide. Our problem is more than one president governing us. I'm going to make a video, a detailed video, and explain my point of view why Nigeria needs to separate. We all have to stop deceiving ourselves for one Nigeria. We have to stop saying, oh, one Nigeria. Nigeria needs to divide. So, that video that Ghanaians were talking about Nigeria. So, guys, let me play that video for we all to hear what is being said. This meeting, the gravamen of the discussions at this meeting was about moving the U.S. Africa Command to Africa. <laughs> It was about establishing a U.S. military base in Africa. That's what they were discussing. 
And I was so embarrassed. I felt so disgraced by the Nigerian head of state and the kinds of things he said. I am embarrassed by Buhari. Listen. When Buhari was campaigning to replace uh, Good Luck Jonathan, what did he tell the people of Nigeria? That he is a former general, an astute general. And that if he got power, he will be able to stop the operations of Boko Haram. Is that not the promise he made? Now the same Buhari is telling her and saying, hey, I raised my hand, we can't fight Boko Haram. America, come and fight Boko Haram for her. He should be leaving office. He should be leaving office. He has not fulfilled his promise to the Nigerian people. In any case, if Nigeria, a giant in Africa, Nigeria is a giant in Africa, if Nigeria cannot deal with Boko Haram and has to go and beg Anthony Blinken to bring soldiers into, into Lagos and Abuja and other places to fight Boko Haram, then what, what would other countries do? What would Gambia do and so on? We are walking back into the embrace of our slave masters. We are walking back into the embrace of our new colonial and colonial oppressors and exploiters. That is what we are doing. And these African leaders are doing that without blinking an eye, without any shame. What an embarrassment. Embarrassed by Buhari and the Kenyan leader and, and the, 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 the manner in which they have degraded us and stampled on our dignity. It's embarrassing. From that video, by now, there should have been a hashtag of Save Nigeria Worldwide or Bubu Mons this time. Forcefully, there should have been a rainy hashtag by now. But still, nothing is being done. Like that man said, Buari ought to have resigned. He ought to have resigned because the things you promised you are not able to fill that promise then why not step down and allow somebody else to govern to rule the country you should resign if you really have good intentions for nigeria he ought to have resigned voluntarily do you know what what the funniest thing is that this same president asked our former president to resign during his old time in case you don't know the boko Haram attack happened started happening doing good luck jonathan from the way i analyze things i feel i, I feel like the boko Haram terrorists were used against his regime and now the people who sponsored those terrorists can no longer tame them that is why everything is out of hand now now if you you can point out to somebody that oh you are lacking at this then resign now that it is your own turn why can't you also do the same thing he has refused to, to resign and this is the second time guys i don't even understand how he came into power the second time i don't understand this is the worst slavery we have ever been in the whole of Ni in the whole of nigeria in nigeria there is no freedom of speech our president is not open to petition because right now our president has a twitter account and whenever he tweets his comment section is always off so that the citizens won't able to leave comments under that tweet. Whereas other countries, other adverse countries, presidents are open to petition. They are open to criticism. But in Nigeria, peaceful protests are dealt with, are, are, are seen as threats. Up to now, nobody has taken responsibility for the death of so many at the Lekito gates. Not even one single soul. Are you telling me that the soldiers ordered themselves to shoot as citizens? A governor in Nigeria said something. He said that Nigerian youths should stop traveling abroad. And I was like, what? Are you talking to the same youth you guys killed at Lekito Gate? Are you talking to the same youth that they wanted to fight for justice in Nigeria, but all you did was to shoot at them? Are you talking to those same youths? Why would the youth leave Nigeria? Why would the youth relocate to country to a country that prioritizes them to a country that value their life? So stop saying that Nigeria is safe. Nigeria is not safe. Nigeria is not safe. Before I come out here, I read a lot, I, I study a lot, and I follow the happenings in Nigeria. So I know what, what I'm saying. In what way do you think that we youth can bring about a change to Nigeria? 
now that everyone wants to leave Nigeria. So guys, as I said, I have a solution for Nigeria. That solution is that Nigeria should divide. Let us forget about one Nigeria. I'm not here to be talking about Biafra. Biafra is one of my concern. All I know is that for this to be happen to happen, Nigeria needs to divide. And I'm going to liken my division to the Philippines because judging from what I've seen here, I'm going to tell you how that can be achieved from what I've seen in the Philippines. So guys, you guys should watch out for my next video on that. So guys, like, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. And please guys, do not skip my ads and always make sure to give my video thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye.